Yo, welcome back to Genshin Impact. In the last episode, we finally finished the lantern, right? And now we're back still in Liyue, in Wangshu Inn, because there's an ongoing event right now. You know the trail, we, we just gotta... We're late, on the, we're late on the schedule, as always, so we gotta catch up on stuff in the very last second, basically, once again. So, we gotta talk to someone, or check a notice at Wangshu Inn, and then probably have to talk to someone after Paimon said something. And, uh, I've already seen that there's gonna be some characters from Fontaine involved, because they once again told me to finish the Archon Quest, which I haven't had time to do. Because I'm constantly getting buried with events <laughs> that tell me to finish the quest, which I don't have time for, as I just said. So, what's it gonna be today? Tell me the news, Paimon. Wang Shuin now hiring. Urgently seeking one temporary chef willing to pay top Mora salary negotiable. D they're looking for a chef? I know a certain chef whose birthday it is today. You ever heard of Sunshi Wind Smoke? You ever heard of the East Blue? Uh, the. W wait, what? <laughs> Look, Traveler, an urgent hiring notice, and they're paying top more, too! Oh, Paimon likes the sound of that. I, I obviously meant the All Blue, not the East Blue. He he's from the East Blue, you know? <laughs> strange! Why would Wang Shu in suddenly need a new chef, huh? Hmm. You're right, it is strange! Do you think something happened to Yen Xiao? I hope not. Because that guy barely lets anyone ever set foot in his kitchen. I like that guy. Doesn't exactly seem like the type to hire Yeah. Him. Or maybe, maybe he's on vacation. The notice says interested parties should go upstairs and talk to the innkeeper, Huayan. Should we go and see what's up? You wanna check up? Yeah, and we can ask about the pay while we're at if, it. If he's there, I don't know. Maybe he's not here. Maybe that's why they're hiring, you know? Anyways, I totally forgot about this guy. I know that we, we, we've met him a couple of times, because uh, there's like little quests here and there sometimes that involve uh, Chef Yan Shao. But I didn't think about him in a long time, and now... Can the elevator please do its goddamn job? Alright, thanks. They should be hiring a new elevator while they're at it. Or someone who's pulling the strings for the stupid thing, because it's not working! Unless... I stand close enough to trigger the hitbox for the animation to start. Anyways, any slays? Am I looking for a job? I don't think so, but... We're gonna find out more in a second. And then... Maybe we have to look for a job, at least for this event, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> you may think I'm just a terrible <laughs> Mel, I'm also a part-time chef, part-time demon slayer, and I'm falling down the stairs! Boss, I, there's really no need for this. It's just a little burn, that's all. It won't get in the way of my work. Perhaps not, but continuing to work will only hinder your recovery. You need to rest for a few days. We'll figure something out. <laughs> it's me! Hi, I'm the solution, it's me. Oh? Traveler and Paimon! What brings you to this neck of the woods? So you're hiring notice downstairs. And we decided to come check out... Um... <laughs> check up on Yanxiao. <laughs> uh, I knew we shouldn't have posted that notice. It's really nothing to worry about. I'm fine. I swear. How kind of you. My thanks to you both. And thanks on Yanxiao's behalf too. There's nothing to be embarrassed about, Yan Xiao. Just tell them what happened. Oh, all right. Well, basically, we had a lot of guests pouring in for the lantern rite. Things got busy, I started rushing, and I ended up accidentally burning my hand while plating a oh, dish. Oh, doesn't sound like you. Well, you know what they say. Play with fire long enough, and you're bound to get burned. Even the best chefs slip up sometimes. A anyway, it's nothing. Uh, just a tiny burn. I can still- At least you didn't try some acne, Kai. <laughs> now, now. I don't want you pushing yourself. You'll only make it worse. And then you'll be looking at more than just a couple of days off to recover. But the Lantern Rite's only just finished. And we're still getting tons of guests. Now's not a good time for me to rest. N now it is the best time to rest, because you can't overwork yourself under these conditions. Otherwise, something's gonna happen again, and... No, so it's gonna end this time, you know? B uh, plus, lots of the guests are visiting from other nations. We can't just bring in some random chef off the street. I can do it. We have a reputation to uphold. I I refuse to let someone else ruin the good name we've made for ourselves here. <laughs> Trying to resist your urge to uh, make Taylor Swift re references every time the word reputation shows up anyway. 
listen to you. Anyone would think that you're the boss and not me. <laughs> Why did I just misread this guy's name as Harry Styles? What is going on with my brain today? But he's not wrong. Yan Shao was one of the favorites in the Masterful Chefs Tournament. No matter how you look at it, his are big boots to fill. I don't mean to boast, but any chef of my caliber probably has their own restaurant to look after. It's not going to be easy to find someone who's got the skills and has the time to help us out. Literally standing right here. Mm. <laughs> Looks like we might have to increase the pay we're offering even further. Uh, I mean, I have, I have some references. I was working at uh, the Angel Share as a bartender. Didn't go too well. I tried to drink it in real life. Didn't go too well. Uh, Do we know anyone that's a good chef and has the time to help out? Sanji. Uh, whoever could it be. Uh, Xiangling, maybe? Oh, of course, you! I'm none of these two people I just mentioned, but okay, I'm also willing to help, I guess. Oh, right. Yes, now I think about it. I do recall hearing good things about your cooking ability. I suppose I'd added you to my mental list of people who can hold their own in a combat situation, but forgot you can cook. I, I can also surf. Slay, surf. Um, <laughs> why are you even keeping a mental list of people who can fight? <laughs> he, he's fighting them in his dreams, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a story for another time. More importantly, I'm sure Yan Shao would be comfortable leaving his kitchen in your hands, if any. I should also. What do you think, Yan Shao? I should also make a list like that in my journal. Be like, list of people I can fight. <laughs> well, uh... since it's you. I suppose that's better than anyone else. Any of my friends who are like, I don't know, only five feet tall, square up. You got what nothing do you think, on me. Traveler? Should we do it? <laughs> uh, you said something about increasing the pay. <laughs> Money. <laughs> <laughs> I did say that, didn't I? Well, I'm a man of my word. I'm a man of money. You'll be compensated generously for your Hell work. Hell yeah. <laughs> I should warn you. That cooking for customers is quite a different ball game from cooking for yourself. So I know. I'll stick around the kitchen over the next few days to help smooth things over. Thanks, man. I appreciate. Oh, so he's not leaving the kitchen after <laughs> I believe there's some spare kitchenware here at the inn. Boss, uh, would you mind? Paimon was hoping we'd be alone in the kitchen so she can sneak up and eat like all of the supplies here. Of course, of course. I'll take care of it. Paimon eating all the leftovers. There will be no leftovers left. Whew. All done. Come, take a look. This was made with your measurements in mind. Uh, this carpentry is incredible. You've missed your true calling. Ah, it's nothing. <laughs> a little handicraft and elbow grease goes a long way. All right, Yan Shao. I'll leave you to take it from here. Elbow grease? Yeah, I don't. I don't want to have your greasy elbows anywhere near my food. You really <laughs> went to all the trouble of building a new stovetop? What was wrong with the original? Boy, you really hate when people touch your stuff, huh? No, no, it's nothing like that. As boss always says, hire who you trust and trust who you hire. I just thought the original setup might be a little, um, tall for Everyone you. Everyone looks short compared to you. Ahem. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, anyway, as I was saying, cooking for guests is different from cooking for yourself. Not only do you have to execute on taste, aroma, and appearance, hmm. But you also need to ensure speed, precision, and consistency. I am speed. You may call me the blue blur. Having the right equipment is a big part of that. Ill-suited equipment doesn't just make the job more tiring. It also slows you down. And paying customers don't have unlimited patience. Yeah. Sometimes cooking is all about being well prepared. That's how you ensure speed. That do be true. Okay, and what about precision and consistency? Ah, precision all comes down to using your eyes. Where to slice into a particular cut of meat, how much oil to use, how to tell when a dish is done cooking. When you cook for yourself, you can always add salt if it's too bland or add water if it's too salty. You can tweak the taste as you go, but in a restaurant, there's not that much room for trial and error. I'm not too worried about that. Worst case scenario, Paimon can deal with any subpar dishes by making sure they get properly disposed of. <laughs> Paimon, I'm not cooking for you this time, okay? The final thing you have to focus on is consistency. 
you have to be able to handle the most challenging orders with the same level of technique and skill as the easiest ones. This is particularly important when you have guests from all over, each with their own tastes and preferences. You have to cater to their own dietary needs while also giving them the opportunity to enjoy our local delicacies. Uh, this last point is making Paimon's head spin. <laughs> Don't worry. Matter of fact, someone as well-traveled as you may even have a better handle on it than me once you get started. And of course, I'll be around to help you over the next few days. I don't think we'll have any trouble making all our guests feel right at home. Alrighty, daddy. Alrighty. Anything else? Any more instructions? There's no time to lose, so let's get started. I imagine you probably have a good handle on the cooking side of things already. What you need to pay attention to is remembering each table's order. Try not to get them mixed up. Oh, Pinot's memory is like a steel trap. This is gonna be a sick. Yeah, we're gonna mess up. <laughs> At the end of the day... Oh, who's there? Shao? Shao is there? No? Okay. Oh, uh, disappointed. What ticket are we on again? Table one was onions, but no chilies. Table two was chilies, but no onions. And table three was... Uh... Table three was chilies, but hold the chilies. I thought you were good at this. <laughs> was Paimon just sleep floating? <laughs> You've been talking nonsense since about halfway through the day. Uh, we didn't even get a break in the middle. Paimon's brain has turned to mush. Is it always this busy here? No, but this is peak season. You both did a mighty fine job for your first time serving guests at the end. Stop, this is making me afraid of my own job. Luckily, all our customers were familiar faces this time around, so we didn't get any strange requests. Otherwise, today would have been even more challenging. I started playing Genshin today because I was burnt out from work. I don't want to be burnt out over work in Genshin. Oh, boy. No strange request? Someone asked. For almond tofu, drizzled in soy sauce. Even Paimon has never tried that combination. I don't know what you mean. Sounds good to me. But scratch the almond tofu. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wide world out there. People have all kinds of different tastes. Being able to cater to all is the real essence of Leo cuisine. I'm fine with, with anything. As long as you add salt. I mean, like, lots of salt. <laughs> also, the thing about requests is that they're usually very specific. So as long as you do what they asked, you're unlikely to have any issues. What's really tricky is when guests give you free reign to do anything you want. Uh, excuse me, are you still open by any chance? Do I hear someone talking with their helmet on? Huh? Paimon knows that voice. <gasps> Let's go check it out! <laughs> I think someone... Someone's wearing... Uh, yeah. He's not what should we do? Up. It doesn't look like anyone's here. Oh, family. Uh, if only we'd gotten here a bit sooner. I'm here. It's all right. If we start building a campfire now, we'll be eating before too long. Came all the way to right. the Besides, if anyone's to blame, it's Linny. So busy being a greedy culture vulture that he lost track of time. Linny, Lynette, Fremenay, it is you! I haven't seen you in a long time, actually. Paimon? So... Is the traveler here? Yeah, I'm traveling. T traveling downstairs or upstairs now. Moin. Traveler, Paimon! What a nice surprise! <laughs> it is indeed. Paimon was gonna say the same thing! We're just lending a helping hand at the end. Please help me out in the kitchen. <gasps> I'm burned out already. And you fill the three of them in. Into the kitchen, let's go! <laughs> anyway, so that's how we ended up here. But what about you guys? Don't tell us. Uh, father sent you on another mission? No, quite the opposite, actually. Mother? <laughs> we're in Liyue on vacation, and while we're here, I thought a cultural tour might be in order. Uh, uh, father said we deserve some rest after everything that happened recently. Otherwise, it could jeopardize our next mission. It's not every day we get this kind of opportunity. Lenny thought it might be fun to spend some time in Liyue, especially since it's lantern right season. Mm, the cultural tour Lenny mentioned? We could hardly pass up the opportunity to watch a Liyue-style magic show. Although, I think they call it conjuring here. Uh, 
In our time here, we've seen conjuring tricks incorporated into a Liyue opera show, and even a wushu dance. It was amazing. Fremina's voice actually sounds familiar because I just realized it reminds me a lot of Efer's voice. If Efer would have more voice lines. <laughs> So, we decided to stay here for a few more days to see what other forms of inspiration this land might have in store for us. We visited Granny Roshin in Chingsa village not long ago, and today we continued our cultural tour in the area around here. In the end though, we lost track of time. We haven't even eaten anything uh, that's yet. That's why I'm here. What do you want to eat? <laughs> and speaking of eating... As you know, seafood is a big part of both Liyue and Fontaine cuisine, but it's cooked very differently here. We simply had to try some local seafood after coming all this way. That's another reason why we decided to extend our trip. No more food left. Paimonade, all of it, I'm sorry. Oh, need any recommendations? What have you tried so far? That fish one with the misleading name. Sounds bland, but it's drowning in hot chilies. Oh, you mean black bass? Perch soup? You're right, the name doesn't give much away. <laughs> it looked and smelled so appetizing that Lynette took a huge mouthful. Blissfully unaware that she was about to set her mouth on fire, she could barely speak for the rest of the day after that. <laughs> you wanna try my new fish meal? <laughs> it's called Finding Nemo. <laughs> uh, luckily, that wasn't a huge adjustment for her. But the plot twist is there's no fish in there, so you can't find you can't find them. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded fake. That was different. What? Aren't you guys hungry too? <laughs> oh, fake it till you make it, I guess. Uh, yes. A little. When you just really want to stop at McDonald's so bad. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes. I'm ready to eat. Traveler, I'm afraid we'll have to send you back to the kitchen oh, now. Oh boy. Traveler, what would you like? Hmm, good question. I doubt we'll be able to decipher the menu, so why don't you recommend something? You should be pretty familiar with our tastes. Want to see a magic trick? I could serve you some uh, in invisible food. You won't see it because there's nothing on the plate that's empty because I can't cook. I can't figure something out. Uh, one more thing. Please, if you have a heart, don't make it spicy. If you have a heart... <laughs> Me ordering pizza and crying if it's not spicy, even though I asked for spicy pizza. 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 Oh. There's my customers. I thought the black back perch stew was actually pretty tasty. And now that you know it's spicy, you won't be caught off guard, right? Why don't we give it another chance? Once was more than enough. <laughs> okay. Okay. She can't handle her spices. I'll make sure to remember that. Huh. Off to the kitchen. Some yeah. extra chilies Fontaine, huh? for Lynette. No wonder they can't handle too much spice. Still, if we make the food too bland, they might as well be eating back home. <laughs> well, that reminds me when I was like at a birthday party with my friends and there was like just a cozy chill out. And one of our friends uh, had a broken toe, so he couldn't really stand up or leave the room. And then we went out to um, order some pizza and bring back food. And then he said something like, oh, we asked him, what do you want? And he said, anything but tuna. And because uh, <laughs> we, <laughs> that was some stuff going on, but basically we did it on purpose. <laughs> we went to the them to the them restaurant and we were like, okay. You know what? Let's just let's just give him some tuna pizza, and then when he when he came back, we just said, couldn't remember what you ordered. All we remembered is something about tuna. <laughs> oh boy, I, he was not happy about it. Hmm. There's this crab and shrimp stir fry I know that could work. It's quite heavily seasoned, but it's a lot milder than it looks. It has a light but really satisfying flavor. Ooh, that sounds perfect. What's it called? <laughs> well, this is where it gets interesting. They call it the Palace Jewels. The crab roe is supposed to look like pearls of gold, and the shrimp meat like chunks of jade. That's a pretty enigmatic name. Here's the recipe. When you're ready, go ahead and give it a try. 
Uh, each challenge of receiver of friends from afar, you must continuously prep, mix and cook to make a dish that the guest wants. After you begin prepping, the indicator on the slider will move back and forth between each end. When the indicator points to the corresponding area, click on a button to mark one instance of success. After you begin mixing, hold the button to make the indicator bar move over the sliding ring. When the indicator bar points to the prompted area, release the button to mark one instance of success. When cooking is complete, once cooking is complete, you can plate and decorate the dish. Three elements of dishes can be decorated, tableware, accessories, and add-ons. Each element has several decorations to choose from. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Well, that's where I need to go. Alrighty! Let's start! Sanji Simulator, okay. A fresh dish cooked using shrimp. <laughs> I can already see myself. Two weeks from now, recording a damn video trying these dishes in real life, like I did with the damn drink mixing Genshin challenge. I did that event you cosplay, it's on my channel if you haven't seen it yet. It sure was interesting. Fresh dish cooked using shrimp meat, crab roll, salt, and snapdragon. People say of this dish, crab roll like, like pearls of gold, shrimp meat like chunks of jade. The mild flavors of the dish make it suited to those who want to taste the essential flavor of seafood. Some afraid this dish as such. What do you get when you put a crab and shrimp and add freshness onto freshness? As some choose a flavorful dish. The tenderness of the shrimp and the crab's flavored glutinous grains grant it freshness, deliciousness, and the perfect mouthfeel. The crab roll shines brighter than gold and the shrimp glimmers like gems, forming a jewel table fit for a palace. Serve him up! Let's go! Oh boy. Oh boy. Step 1. Prepping. Press at the right moment to prep. <gasps> Start! All oh, the sounds are satisfying. Let's go. Uh. Wow. We're, we're so good at this. Oh my god. Ephraim, you're, you're, uh, you're a natural talent. Hell yeah! We did it. Alrighty. Let's continue. Oh, this is so satisfying, just just watching him cook. Alright, chef, let him cook, let him cook. Uh, oh, this is like Osu. Whee! Press the circles to the beat. Oh, damn. Click the circles. <laughs> Aw, very happy. I hope the customers are happy, too. Alright. I'm just gonna pour it onto the table, like, no serving, no plate, no anything. Press. Alrighty. Cooking complete. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm shocked too. We did it. <laughs> Are we done? Okay, time for the serving. Swap ornaments. Eh, you know what? This is fine. I'm just not gonna bother doing further stuff. The palace jewels. I don't know if I would eat that. They're shrimp. I don't like anything from Sorry underwater. For the wait. This dish is called the palace jewels. Enjoy. Dinner's ready. Nobody's talking. Is it that bad? It's not spicy. Mm. Oh. <laughs> um. Uh, what did I do? Did I mess up? Did I do something wrong? Ah, uh, yes. We meant to say, you two must be tired after a long day of work. Do you want to eat with us? <laughs> did I do anything wrong? Oh, now that you mention it, Paimon is a little hungry. Well, if you insist, then who are we to refuse? Dude, I'd be <laughs> pissed if I just spent like a, an hour serving up food in the kitchen and people would react like that, like, um... Uh... Let's still let our guests enjoy the first bite. Oh, right! Of course. You're still our customers. Uh... Why aren't you eating? The sauce looks a little overpowering. Mm. Oh, uh... According to Liu at custom... It's probably good table manners to let someone else go first. What's your excuse, Lenny? No excuse? <laughs> <clears throat> Looks delicious, traveler. I guess I'll dig in first. Here goes. What is it? Do you need some water? Why are they so scared? <laughs> no. It's delicious. The flavor is so pure. It's drenched in sauce, but somehow it just enhances the natural flavor of the seafood. T try it for yourselves. Um, uh, all right. Mmm. Hmm. 
What is that? Crab roe? Yep, you have quite the palate, Lynette. No wonder it pairs so well with the shrimp meat. I've never seen it prepared this way before. Why does it feel like Genshin isn't actually... According to the creator, chewy crab, compliment succulent shrimp making a spectacular seafood ensemble with a succulent flavor and luscious mouthfeel. You know, in instead of like a fantasy RPG, Genshin feels more like a food cooking simulator. It's, it's always about food. The crab roe glitters like pearls of gold, and the shrimp shines like chunks of jade. Hence its name, the Palace Jewels. So that's where the name comes from. <laughs> I suppose it's quite fitting then. Huh. Was Paimon always this well-spoken? She's only smart when it comes to food. This dish must be right up your alley, Lynette. Uh -huh. Is she crying? Probably when you're busy yapping away. <laughs> Why are they talking instant Twitter lingo? Paimon, stop yapping. <laughs> I heard that in Liyue. Uh... The biggest compliment you can pay to the chef is to leave a clean plate. It's delicious. Thank you ever so much. Oh Wait, boy. Don't fight over it. Hey, leave some for Paimon! Yeah, no. Not gonna happen. Okay. What else? I think. I'm finally getting the hang of chopsticks. Breakfast makes perfect, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, Linny and Lynette picked it up in no time, but they're naturally dexterous. Unlike me. It's taken me a lot longer, but I'm slowly getting there. Oh, uh, speaking of chopsticks, in one of the shows we've seen here, someone performed a conjuring trick using a bowl and chopsticks. So, if I want to be a good magician's assistant, I need to keep practicing. If well, you want to be like a scuba diver, I didn't even know. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> uh. Lynette's not usually so forthcoming about what she likes. But this time, well, she's expressed it in more ways than one. I guess you've rubbed off on her too. <laughs> or maybe your cooking is simply too delicious to resist. The next time our paths cross in Fontaine, you'll have to fire up your cooking skills for my other siblings as well. How does that sound, oh great master chef? <laughs> Even more siblings? We know you're free just after that, I guess. Oh yeah? <laughs> well then, I'll have to clear my schedule. Oh boy. She's talking to the cat. <gasps> she literally is! Wait, my pet was censoring the cat. Now better, better angle. Let me guess where you're from. Calorie surplus detected. Digestion mode engaged. What? Yeah. Well, Lenny and I are usually careful about what we eat, because we have to stay in performance shape. That, plus it's generally bad manners to overindulge at the dinner table. But once in a while, it's nice to treat yourself in the company of family. Besides, if I'd waited until my brothers were finished trying to outpolite each other, the food would have gone cold. <laughs> okay. Uh, back to the kitchen. Here we go. Uh, is there anything else in the, men in the menu? Nope. We're still in the prologue. So your friends like the dish, huh? Well done. Not bad at all for your first day on the job. There'll be more to come, so keep it up. Oh boy. Did I unlock the menu now? Oh, we got a new recipe. A new recipe, and we got a time travel. Wait until the next day. I'll do so. I'm gonna cut you in in a second. It's six in the morning. Why do I gotta do this stuff so early? Morning. The boss tells me that both new and returning customers have nothing but good things to say about you. <laughs> I have to admit, I was a little worried about throwing you right into the deep end. But it looks like you've got what it takes to handle the day-to-day -day here. So it should be plain sailing. Uh, well, far as on. Just as long as we don't run into any extremely picky customers with unreasonably specific requests. Oh, yeah, and there she is. <laughs> oh, have you had someone like that before? Mm, on the way right now. Of course. The worst are those old scholars who have barely cooked a day in their life, but think reading a stack of books on the topic makes them the expert. Literally my father. They criticize you for no reason, <laughs> claiming your cooking method isn't faithful to the original. Mm -hmm. 
or that the flavor profile isn't authentic because you used an ingredient that wasn't in their beloved centuries-old version of the recipe. This is Wang Shuin. Hmm. It does have the look and feel of a time-honored establishment. Oh no. Run, run. I know that voice. It's Hatsune Miku. Oh, innkeeper! We'll have each of your signature dishes, please. As fast as you can serve them. The most expensive ones. Farazan! Oops. Uh, Madam Farazan. <laughs> oh my. Traveler, Paimon, whatever are you doing here? We could ask you the same thing. Where'd you suddenly get the funds to go sightseeing? And to order the most expensive things on the menu. She broke too? Otherwise, we're talking about the wrong uh, girl with pigtails. It's not Mona. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here to sightsee. Exemplary scholars like myself are highly sought after by cruise operators in need of an onboard consultant as they travel the world. Uh, Dori and Leila? Uh, uh, Madam Farazan, please, uh, slow down. Uh, none of us slept last night. How come Madame Farzan still has so much energy? Uh, if she's really over a hundred years old, I don't understand how she keeps going. <sighs> it's all my fault. She's been like this ever since I told her I'd be paying the expenses. <laughs> Layla! And... Dory? Huh. Never would have bet on this combination. Why don't you all take a seat and catch your breath, huh? You invite the three to sit and explain that you're helping out at Wang Shu Inn. Temporary chef, huh? Wow. No rest for the wicked. Well, if the chef here is trusting you to run his whole kitchen, then I've got no doubt we're in for some authentic Leo S specialties. So, why are you all in Leo again? Something about being an onboard consultant? Oh boy, I, I hope you like burnt pizza. <laughs> I got my hands on a new boat from Fontaine a while ago, so do, equipped with cutting-edge navigation technology. Day. If we manage to spread the word, it could have huge business potential. Right now, we're doing some test runs. We sailed from Port Ormos to Rito, then from Rito to Liyue Harbor. Next, we're planning to go to Dornman Port. Oh, Madame Farazan and me were hired to fine-tune the compass and other equipment. We sailed around the Sea of Clouds all of last night to put the system through some stress testing. Uh, sounds like illegal overtime. Uh, overtime for which they'll both be fairly compensated. Mm, sure. They're both here willingly. The contract is crystal clear on that. You really cover all your bases, don't you? Let Paimon guess. Paying the expenses is part of the compensation, isn't it? No wonder Madame Farozan is going for all the most expensive dishes. <laughs> now it makes sense. <laughs> It's not every day someone tells you to order whatever you like. Now, first up, we'll have the... <clears throat> Farzan, uh, Madam Farzan, that is. While I am more than happy to treat you both to the most expensive dishes on the menu, we must remember that most expensive does not always mean best. Yeah, I probably can't cook that shit anyways. I've heard that the most expensive dishes in Liyue are usually either seafood-based or take an exceptionally long time to prepare. Now, I don't know about you two, but after so many days at sea, I don't think I can so much as look at another piece of seafood again for at least the foreseeable future. Huh. That's actually a good point. Not to mention that poor Layla here looks like she's about to faint from hunger. Huh? Oh, that's not because of hunger. Surely the wise and virtuous Madame Farazan could not bear to watch her poor students sit here and waste away. Oh, well, of course I care about my students' well-being, but why do I feel like I'm being tricked? So, let's not order anything that'll take too long to prepare. Aside from that and seafood, we'll take whatever other expensive dishes you have. Over to you, traveler. Okay. After the kitchen it goes. No seafood and nothing that takes too long to cook. The rest is up to you. <laughs> hmm. I had my eye on Adeptus Temptation, bamboo shoot soup, and golden shrimp balls. But I suppose they'll have to wait for the next time. <sighs> but that could be years from now. Oh, Madame Farzan looks so deflated all of a sudden. Um, please still try to choose dishes on the expensive side, okay? <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. 
Uh, no uh, Adeptus Temptation is a five-star meal, so let's try, I guess. So, expensive, but no seafood, and nothing that takes too long to cook. That rules out pretty much our entire menu. <sighs> Do these people get a kick out of being impossible to please? Maybe. Oh, that Dory! Is she doing this on purpose? I bet more that she is. <laughs> this isn't Leoli Pavilion or Shinua Kiosk. This is Wangshu Inn. We don't stock up on rare and exotic ingredients. We only get them in if someone puts in a special reservation. <sighs> well, if we're stuck with regular ingredients and we're on a time limit, there's only one way to bump up the price. And that's by cooking a dish that uses the chef's expertise and creativity to the fullest. As it happens, I know a recipe for something called trembling strings and rushing reeds. It can be whipped up quickly with what we already have in the kitchen. One plate usually goes for 30,000 more. I just realized if you skip this uh, event, you literally don't get the recipes ever, probably. 30,000? Mm. But if it's quick to make and isn't fancy, what exactly makes it so special? Secret ingredient. Quick doesn't have to mean quick and easy. To perfect this dish, you need expert knife work and very precise control over the heat. Yeah, and the secret ingredient is you, you sneak primer gems in there. You have to finely slice several different types of meat into fine threads, knead them together into strips, then gently stir fry them in the pan. What you end up with is a whole variety of flavors that come through layer by layer. This dish is unique in offering a harmonious blend of multiple kinds of meat, all cooked to perfection, while still bursting with their own distinct flavors. Do it right, and you've got a culinary masterpiece in your hands. But if you botch it, it's just a bunch of meat thrown on a plate. Oh, Primer gets it now! So this dish gets its value not from the ingredients, but the chef's expertise! You think I can pull this off? Now, nah, don't worry. I can take care of the kneading and other prep work for you. You just focus on bringing it all together. All right, then. Believe in yourself. You can do this. <laughs> and if you mess it up, I'm almost to be happy to eat it. <laughs> of course. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. Is there anything on the menu now? Or... It's still looking the same. Okay. 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 Thought maybe I could, like, see stuff. A stuff fried dish made from a variety of meats that has layers, even to have floors of flavor. Simple ingredients, unique creativity, and an intricate cooking process make this an unparalleled delicacy fit for any gourmet seeking the very finest of flavors. They say in Leo that lutes have five strings and flutes have seven apertures, and that this dish is correspondingly made with five meats, seven side dishes. That said, it is doubtful that any chef could make a dish as complicated as the story claims. Alright, bring it on! You gotta do the cooking by the book. I swear you won't be lazy if you get a uh, chopping food. No, 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 I don't know the lyrics to that song. <laughs> you gotta do the cooking by the book. La 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 la. Na 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 na. Oh boy, that was faster than the one before. Huh. Where do we still need to go? And the next step. All right, all right. I forgot there's multiple stages to this. Wee! Yay! We made it. We're happy. Ooh, wondering if the next people that are gonna stop by are people from Monstead. Would be kind of funny to see. I don't know. I know it was Bennett's birthday recently, so maybe. He's gonna show up. But it would be funny to see Kaya and maybe Winty or D Luke. Or Klee. Sweep ornaments. I guess so. Oh, we had that before. And uh, finish. Let's go. Wee! Food's ready! Enjoy. Please give me better reactions than the people before. Ooh, smells delightful. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we meant to ask, have you two eaten breakfast yet? 
If not, why don't you join us at the table? I just ate with Linny and... Oh, that was that was yesterday. Actually, I do have an empty stomach now. Yeah, let's go. Uh, did Dory just offer us a free meal? When did she become so generous? She's gonna make us pay for it, probably. <laughs> let's not forget that the biggest business deals are always settled over a meal. Come on, come on, come on. Sit down and join us. Everyone dig in. This dish looks simple enough, and I did my research, so surely it can't cost all that much. Worst case scenario, maybe 10,000 mora? <laughs> this dish had better be worth working overtime all night for. Well, Traveler, this is the moment of truth. Oh, so tired. So sleepy. I just want to eat up and get to bed. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Everyone begins to eat, each harboring their private conversations or something. Fowl? Oh, wait. No, the texture is more like shroom boar. There's a different flavor in every bite. And the discerning palate might detect a hint of something smoked, too. Quite marvelous. How is this made? Uh, smokiness from the ham, that was my addition. Ham? But I don't see any ham anywhere. Oh. See? No, no, you actually don't see. Haha! <laughs> so you've noticed. Yep, every single strip is kneaded from several different kinds of meat. Paimon and Yan Xiao put in a lot of effort to make it just right. Uh, so I'm not an expert or anything, but don't different meats have different cooking times? Uh, uh, how is everything in this dish cooked to perfection? Well, you see, um, that's a trade secret. Just a matter of practice. Wow, so this dish really is one of a kind. That makes the whole trip worth it. By the way, does this special dish have a name? Ah, Paimon forgot to mention that part. The dish is called Trembling Strings and Rushing Reeds. Alluding to the way that the different threads of meat are woven together. And also... The complex layers of flavor, yes? Akin to the harmonies of a musical ensemble. The name, if I'm not mistaken, is a Leo idiom that evokes a vigorous orchestral performance featuring both stringed and wind instruments playing together. Mm, quite an apt name for this dish. Uh, how did you know all that? Every student has to master at least 20 languages before they graduate. Wait, is that not a requirement anymore? What? Huh? Oh, that used to be a thing? Oh, Hyman almost forgot that you're also from her habitat. So, um, anyway, how much does this dish cost? Uh, here's the funny thing. Oh, <laughs> don't worry, not too much. That'll be, uh, 30,000 more, please, and thank you. <laughs> 30,000? Uh, about that, Paimon, Traveler, I nearly invited you to join us at the table, did I not? I don't believe I committed to paying for you. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, perhaps we could split the bill accordingly? Oh, Paimon knew it was too good to be true. <laughs> He's being pissed off. Uh, I'll talk to the boss, we should be able to do a 20% discount. 30,000 more surely isn't an outrageous amount of the most money. <laughs> yeah. Famous merchant, you've got a reputation to uphold. I'm not paying shit. Uh, but every single mora matters, you know. That's right, and I'm waiting to get every single one. <sighs> all right, all right. I'll just consider that the cost of learning about this <laughs> dish. Once I'm back in Sumeru, I'll be sure to find someone to help me recreate the dish, and then, and then I'll make it all mm, back. Sure thing. You wish. You wish anything else. Ah, I feel so much better now that I've gotten some food in me. Delicious food really does wonders for one's spirit. I thought you'd take on such strenuous work, huh? Uh, <laughs> uh, my advisor said that young people shouldn't stay cooped up in the academia all the time. Uh, they told me that I should take the chance to get out and see the stars in other skies. Oh, uh, maybe I can think of it as my first internship experience? Oh, but it sure is exhausting. Hmm. Oh. 
Alright. Someone needs to sleep. Now, how should I justify a high price tag for a dish without any fancy ingredients? Huh. Maybe start by giving it a fancy sounding name? <laughs> Be honest, you chose to actually to try and save money, didn't you? <laughs> Just confronting her. By the way, that whole spiel about no seafood and no taking no too long to cook. Uh, <laughs> uh, I should have known you'd see through yeah. me. <sighs> Everyone was exhausted and seasick when I made the offer last night, so I figured they probably wouldn't be able to eat all that much today. Well, you saw how that turned mm. out. I tried placing some limitations on the order to keep costs under control, but you still found a way around my schemes. <sighs> That's what I get for not thoroughly researching the market beforehand. Hey, you're not even paying those too much of a salary. Just treat them fairly next time and don't be so stingy. <laughs> you want to talk, Pilot? You freel it whenever you get the chance. Yeah, go get her. Well, yeah, but that's why Paimon's qualified to talk mm -hmm, about this. Sure. Sure. What are you looking at? Even though I didn't get to try Adeptus Temptation or Bamboo Shoot Soup, this trembling strings and rushing reeds was still quite impressive. Thank you for making no it- No thought you'd take a job from any runes. Well, about that. Even though newfangled contraptions are hardly my cup of tea, Dora's offer was quite enticing. She said that every time we stopped at a new harbor, I'd be free to go and pick out some ancient books at the market and bring them back to Sumeru. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't resist an offer like that. So I offered to join for the lowest possible pay to undercut all my Kasharawar competitors. Meow. <laughs> hey boss, what up? We're off to a good start this morning. Keep up the good work. I'm counting on you. You and Paimon work flat out to closing time serving countless customers. And day two is done. Anyways, any slaves, guys, I will be cutting it off here for today. Do we have anything to pull for, perhaps? I guess I have one pull on... Oh, I have four pulls on the standard, but when did that happen? <laughs> I'm just gonna try to gamble a bit. I mean, on the standard banner, I think my pity should be pretty high. But also, I am not quite sure. That's a sword. That's a sacrificial sword. All right, all right. We still got uh, one more pull. Let's see. I have no idea who, which character is gonna be on the next banner. Therefore, I do not know whether I should save up or not. But I guess it can't hurt to pull, even on Shao's banner. I know we already got him. Just wanna push my pity. I have literally no idea who's gonna be on the next banner. Literally. I haven't seen like any spoilers. I've seen that, uh, what's it called? Kave is gonna make a return, like, as one of the four stars. But I don't know, like, whose actual banner it's gonna be, so. Yeah. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night skies are like shooting stars? I could really use a wish right now, wish right now, Ningguang, wish, wish right now. We pretend that airplanes in the night skies are like four stars. I don't really need a shao now, shao now, shao now. Yeah, let's pretend things would have been no different. No, 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 no. I don't know how the rip part goes. Even though I used to listen to a lot of Eminem back in the days. Let's go. Three more pulls. Whee! And another one. Whee! And another one. Whee! The pity has been pitied. <laughs> and another one. <laughs> and another one. Whee! Okay, guys. We are free. See you in the next episode of Kenshin Impact. Until then, just out. Bye bye. Yeah.